Welcome back to another tutorial on how to design a template. In this lesson, we're going to come up with a, um, a customized template of our own, so we're going to create everything from scratch. So what we'll do is find out uh, once we signed in, I'll just head over here and click on create a design. Then head all the way down here to custom size, and I'll select this as my custom size. You can choose whatever width and height you want to use. Click on create a new design. From here, you can see we have a blank page. Now, this will go in the way you want it. You can go ahead and add a background color. So that's by selecting the page. Click over here. You can choose from this grading, uh, these colors over here, or you can use the some of the swatches you have over here. So I'll just hit Control Z since I want to use a background color. I want to add a background image. So I'll head over to Elements. Then such. I want the nature background, and then click on photo, see all, and then I can select a photo from over here that I want to add as my background. So I'll select this one, click on this really three little dots, and then select set image as background. Now that's selected, the image will be set as background. Now if you want to adjust the image, all you have to do is double click. And then you can adjust your image like so there we go that looks good then i want to add some text so i'm thinking of creating a quote kind of post but um create some awareness towards planting trees so i'll add the heading so I'll click on add the heading and from here i can write um a quote i have about saving trees so i'll just Based, I had this. I had selected um, this quote from earlier. Let's just select this. Let's look for a different fonts. So you'll just look for fonts that works for you or that um, allows you to bring out the message that you are, are trying to price out there. Let's look at font colors. Select white. There you go. Create another heading. Place it over here. Control paste. So again, I'll select this text. Change the font. There we go. Again, you can modify this as much as you want. You can change the font size again, the font color. You can even have the text to look something like this. Again, when it comes to positioning, try and position your words in a way that um, it will catch, uh, capture the attention of your audience. So I'll have this here, and then we've got the sofa, so good. Um, we're just going to add a few little elements in order to have um, this look more professional. So currently, I want to add a kind of a rectangular box around this to kind of frame it. So what I'll do is I'll come to elements. And search for a rectangle. And we have all these options. I'll click on see all and I'll choose this one. Here we go. I don't really like how it's leaving out the upper part, so what I'll do is just calculate that. Let's select a different one and see how this one will work out.
There we go. So this looks a lot much better. This looks much better than the first one. Again, it all comes down to positioning and what you want your audience to see. So this looks really, really lovely. Uh, you can always make changes. So I'll change the color. Let's go with the lighter green. There we go. Let's size it a little bit. There we go, and you can see it's really coming in together and starting to look a bit more professional, a bit more serious. So if you want to go ahead and post this on um, your Instagram page, your Facebook page, or any other place you point, you can see how easy it is to come up with a template from Canva. You have all these tools, all these templates provided for you, which can always come and create yours from scratch and personalize it as much as you would like. So just go ahead and try coming up with a customized template from Canva and see how enjoyable that process is.